Hey everybody, how are you? I'm making notes. I have things to tell you about. So I'm making sure that I write them down. Now, could I have done that before I came live with you? Yes, I could have. But that would assume that I had built in margin, which I did not do. So there you go. Anyway, I'm Julie Salva. Welcome to Stamp and Shine with Julie Salva. So let's let's talk about a couple elephants in the room here. All right, that is kind of weird. Okay, first of all, if you're thinking right now, oh my goodness, Julie's hair looks so cute. Well, you need to know that I went and got my hair cut today and she fixed it. And let's just have a moment of silence for the, why is this sticking out like that? Let's have a moment of silence for the hair, the hairstyle that Julie will never be able to replicate. I will never be able to do this. So during those times that you see me with my chip clip holding my hair back or when I try to fix it, we'll be back to that soon. But for today, let's just say thank you, Hannah, for fixing Julie's hair so nice. So that's item number one. Item number two, we are going to be stamping and shining today. I am so excited about the projects that I have for you. So this is what I'd like you to do. If you're watching live, say hi. If you're watching on replay, you can type in replay. And you know what? Here's the thing. I would love if you would share this video. Now you gotta be careful because some of the people like might not get the, the messing upness that is me, but I know you have friends that would appreciate that. So if you wanna share the video, do it. I will upload it to YouTube later. You can sign up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I'm building. Um, and then if you're on my email list, I send it out via email as well. Hey, Gayla, how are you? Um, so you can get it any, any one of three ways. There is no excuse to not watch Julie ramble online. Not an excuse at all. So with that, one more thing. Do you know how many people we have in my group? Oh, Gayla, you're so nice. 299, 299. My friends, it is time to get to 300. That 299 number mocks me. It mocks me. So please share this group, Stamp and Shine with Julie Salva. If you think it's a value, if you don't, then, then please don't share it. But if you think it's a value, share it with somebody. Let's get 300 and even higher, because who knows, maybe I'll have a little prize if we do. So let's jump to it. I need to tell you guys, I'm so excited about the projects today. So I'm going to start off with this one. And while I grab it, I need to give a recognition exclamation. When people say they want to give a shout out, I think that's great. Hi, Angela. But I also know that this month I'm going to be 58 years old and there are not, a, no, I'm not. I'm going to be 57, 57. There are not, there aren't a lot of 57 year olds out there giving shout outs. So I am going to give a recognition exclamation, which I think sounds pretty awesome, to Carol Beth Rhodes. Carol Beth is in my card club, and Carol Beth is also, um, she was in my paper share. Carol Beth sent me this card with her paper share information in it, and I saw it, and I was like, I gotta make it. I gotta make that card. Look at that. Look at that. Now, right now, I know we're kind of thinking, okay, so I gotta, I gotta cut and there's probably gonna be some scoring and it's gonna be really tricky and ugh, but it's not. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make this card right now and I love it. So Carol Beth, thank you so much for sending me this and then sending me to the Google to learn how to make it. So I'm gonna make this card for you. So this is project number one. I'm so excited about it. So before I show you project number two, let's make this one. You guys ready? I am going to move the camera. I'm gonna get my computer set up so that I can hopefully see comments as they come through when the camera is facing down. I'm gonna share some, some new things that I discovered that I owned, new tools, who knew? Um, I did not, I know now. And let's get this squared away. Let me look in here, make sure that I've got a nice view for you guys. That That's annoying, I think, sometimes when you wanna watch something and like it's not really in view, and I know I've done that for y'all before. And, so, uh, oh, hey now, turn that down. But it's not. Okay, so I wanna make sure that I'm in a good place with you. Oh, Lord, that's Fiona. And Finley is now going, I wonder if somebody's home. Okay, I think we're gonna be good here. I think we're gonna be good. Um, yeah. All right. So here is my first project. So again, this is what we're going to make. We're going to make this beautiful card that Carol Beth Rhodes sent me. So again, Carol Beth, full credit for you. I'm so, so appreciative that you sent me this card. So thank you so much for it. Um, let's get going. So here's the colors that I'm going to use and I'm going to bring up my little box here. My box O supplies. I'm going to go with garden green. 
that's going to be my base. And I'm going to give you the dimensions for how to make your pinwheel. Now, listen, it's not that hard. You do not need to have all of that, all that much stuff. So this, these are two squares. You want these two squares to be two and five eighths, two and five eighths. So two, two and five eighths squares. So you need those. Okay. Then you need eight. Now, before you freak out about the eight, it's a very easy cut. Eight squares at one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So I am actually going to cut these eight squares because I mean, truly it just takes a minute. So while I'm cutting and I know I'm out of the camera shot for this, but you don't need to see, see me cut. I'm just cutting eight squares that are um, one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So while I do that, let me just tell you that this paper that I'm using is called Delightfully Eclectic. Now, if you remember um, in the last several Stampin' Up! catalogs, we have had a big pack, a big back, bleh, that's hard to say, a big pack of paper has like 40 sheets in it and it's a little more expensive. It's $30. And it's kind of one of those things that you're like, oh man, I don't, I don't really know if I, if I need that or not. So I am here to tell you, um, I'm going to solve your problem for you. Cause that's what I do. I'm a problem solver. I am here to tell you that you do, you do need it. I saw this pack delightfully eclectic when I was cutting the, the paper share that I did, by the way, I, I, I hesitate to say I have one more share, $60. It's 134 sheets of six by six paper that is all the new paper. And I kind of don't want to sell it because I want to keep it. But if somebody really, really wants it, I guess I would sell it to them. So, um, just because in addition, I'm a giver. So I've, I've cut this, but delightfully eclectic. This is what this paper is from. And I want you guys to see just how cute it is. So this this is um, flowers. On the back side, we've got some of that, all right, I'm gonna call it bubble gum again, but that is not it. The bubble bath, the new color bubble bath in the stripe. And I think that these are really gonna do a, a good job for us. But I wanna show you some of the other patterns. And I, I know I'm just kind of putting them right here. So this is the piece that I just cut out. And again, with the bubble bath stripes. Would you guys just let me call it bubble gum? I just, I feel like I should. Um, this strawberries here in the flip side. Again, some of the bubble bath. Um, I, I don't know what that pattern is, but triangles. Swans, who knew you needed swans? I knew, Stampin' Up knew on the back these wonderful little tic tac toe -y kind of things. And then this one, I nearly used this paper right here, and I'm not gonna show you all these pieces, okay? I nearly used this because I love the Misty Moonlight with the curry and the bubble gum, um, bubble bath, bubble bath floral, and then the curry dots on the back. So the thing that I love about this eclectic paper is that, I mean, just, just look at how Stampin' Up! has done all of the hard work for us in terms of mixing patterns and making sure they work. So again, look at this in the catalog. It's going to be on the, let's see, this is where all the really good demonstrators tell you exactly what page it's on. But then the other ones like me say it's gonna be on the paper page, which by the way um, is, page 128 and delightfully eclectic is actually on page 129 so there you go so we're ready i have babbled long enough so i've got my garden green cut just a, a regular size five and a half by eight and a half so i'll go on and, and fold that i'm gonna use my bone folder because it's what we do guys if you don't have a bone folder it's such an essential tool it is such an essential tool you you must you, you, you simply must okay you simply must. So there's my card base. I'm gonna set it aside for right now. I don't need it. This is the, the part that you guys all came to see, right? This is, You didn't know you came to see it, but you did. All right, so let's put it together. So here's the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna take these two larger squares, the ones that are two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and I'm gonna put some adhesive on them. Now, if you remember my debacle yesterday where I had the dimensionals and then I, I had to take them off and things stuck to each other, I got a great comment about using the silicone sheet and I knew it, I had it out. You guys, when I talk about some of Julie's favorite tools, this is one of them. I think it's only like five or six dollars and it helps you when you make adhesive mistakes. And let me just tell you, you're going to make adhesive mistakes. We all make adhesive mistakes. It's what we do okay so let's let's 
go with it, all right? So I'm gonna take my stamp and seal here. I'm not even gonna worry now. I'm not even worrying about adhesive mistakes because it's it's not a problem. Terry, I am glad that you got on. And Pam Moore, how are you? I'm so glad to see you. Pam Moore, by the way, your paper share has shipped and it should be there. Um, a lot of them are arriving today. I would guess going to Michigan, you're just gonna get there tomorrow, okay? Just so you know, and your ribbon is there too, and your special prize. So, all right, so I have this. Now, now see what I've done? I've just kind of cattywonked adhered them together, all right? So just a cattywonk. That, that, that term is an official paper crafting term. So when you say, oh, I cattywonked it, you will be identified as someone who follows Julie Salva. So either say it with pride or don't say it at all. Okay, I'm gonna take my squares. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on it. You could use the green glue if you want to. I think we all know Julie and green glue do not do great. And I'm gonna go into a corner here and just adhere that down, okay? Now I'm gonna take Another one, put it here, uh, put glue, put it here. And see this, see this angle right here? I am going to put this right here. Angela Bice, is this kind of like quilting? I feel like this is kind of like quilting. It may not be, but in my mind, I feel like it is. So, sometimes this stamp and seal, I'll tell ya, it, it especially when I, when I open up a new one, it gets on my last nerve. Okay, I'm gonna go put this here and you can see that I am, am leaving just the, the, the tiniest of margins, the tiniest of margins right there, okay? Yes, it is kind of like quilting. Both Pam and Angela told me that. All right, now, not only am I a paper crafter, I consider myself a relatively experienced quilter. So should you have any quilting questions, um, feel free to run them by me. I have not quilted a single thing, nor do I even know how to turn on a sewing machine. But Angela and Pam have told me that this is like quilting, so how hard can it be? <laughs> All right, so you can see this is, it, it, it takes a minute, but it's not hard. There's nothing hard about it. Now, when we get to the last one, I want you to see it. There is gonna be a little bit of a, um, a trick. And and that's actually how I discovered the tool that I didn't even know that I had. So you see, I'm just going all in on the angles, all in. You guys, this is so cute. Um, you could do this with all of your scraps. I, you know, I did a video a month or so ago that talked about using scraps. This is yet another outstanding technique for scraps. All right, so here we go. Now here's the thing, this is the only one the only one that's gonna get you a little bit hinky here. So if I just did hear this like that, I mean, do you, you see what's happened? Now I've got my 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 stripes going there. That doesn't, it doesn't work. That's not how it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is tuck this piece behind this. Well, you're like, but Julie, when you do that, that's not gonna really work because um, that's already glued down. Here's the tool. Okay, so this is the Stampin' Up! Take a Pick tool. Now, I knew I had this little joker right here. I knew that, and I've used him to, to put sequins on and to do all sorts of things. And then on this side, I knew I had this. This is that sticky stuff that you can also use to pick up sequins and, and like tiny things that your fingers won't do. What I did not know, and you guys may, have, may know it, is I've got this little spatula here this little guy right here, this spatula. So what you do is you just pull it out, you plop him in, and then you turn it to your left, okay? Maybe it's your right, but whatever. You turn it so that it won't come out. Now, I want you to see what you can do. Remember, I already had this piece adhered down. This spatula, look at this, goes right up under it, so easy. I'm tearing nothing of the paper pulls it up for us so that I can take this piece right here and put the adhesive on it that I need to stick in here. Oh, and I can just slip it right under there and easy breezy lemon squeezy. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Do we need a moment of silence? Sometimes I feel like we need a moment of silence when I make something really good and don't mess up. 
this could be one of those opportunities for us to have a brief moment of silence. So the moment of silence is now over. All right, so now let's finish the card. Now here's the thing. When you have something this cute, you don't need to... Um, you don't you don't need to like do all sorts of other things because this is amazing in and of itself, right? So let's finish the card. So what I've done, I've got my garden green base. I'm gonna move my little silicone sheet. You guys, add this to your shopping list. I'm telling you now. I am telling you now to do it. Um, so I got that, and then I also have because I I went ahead and did it ahead of time. Um, this piece that I have embossed. Okay, I've used the, um, th these are new embossing folders. It's called the Embossing Basics Kit and you get three folders in the kit. So it's $30, so each one is $10 each. So you have like this crosshatch here. You have these that are not polka dots, they're, they're risen a little bit. So they're gonna give you a little more texture than just a polka dot. And then you have just this fun little geometric pattern. You hear this right here and you know when I cut down a mat I just cut it down to um a quarter inch so this would be four by five and a quarter now this is going to go right here look how good it looks but I'm not done I'm not done okay I mean it, it it's very good I mean I'm not going to lie it, it's very very good but <laughs> I have to tell myself no one else will Alyssa those are the the larger squares are two and five eighths by two and five eighths Excellent question. Excellent question. So again, if you just joined in, the two larger squares, two and five eighths by two and five eighths, the eight smaller squares, one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So there's a couple things that I know are bothering us right now. Here's one, because I know you, all right? The first one is that this right here, it, this is not looking good. This is not the look that we want. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unscrew this. Now that I know this, I could literally sit here all day and take it out and, and switch it. it. It's just fun. I'm gonna go to my iridescent rhinestones. So here's the thing, guys. Stampin' Up! has tons of gems. And the, the salesperson in me is like, buy all the gems. But the crafter in me is like, these iridescent rhinestones will get the job done on just about every project. Because regardless of what you put them on, they're gonna kind of pick up the hue of that project. And so if you're like, I would like some gems, but I don't know where to start, I'm telling you, or, or even if you um, have a lot of gems and you're just like, what is my basic gonna be? Get a pack of these iridescent rhinestones. They come in three different sizes. Um, so you can can take a size and, and you know divvy it all up. And I, I just think that you'd be really pleased with that purchase. I think it, it'd go a long way. So, oh, you're welcome, Melissa. Pam, the sound isn't good. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Um, Pam, the sound. No, man, that was on my computer. Can you turn it up? Is, is your device turned up loud? I'm, I'm, I'm talking as loud as I can. Somebody else, let me know. Is the sound not great on yours? Um, just, just let me know, and hopefully we can work that out. Maybe I need to get a microphone. That might be the that that would probably be the first time I've ever been told. I need a microphone, but but when, oh, it's better now. You know what, Pam? I may have turned my head away, honestly, so there we go. All right, so we gotta put a sentiment on here. So going back to Carol Beth's, which was so cute, Carol Beth actually stamped her sentiment before she did her embossing, and, and you can see where it says that right there. Um, I just wanted to say, I did not do that, but I have a really cool thing to show you, all right? So for my sentiment, I am going to the stamp set Happy Labels. And I think this is a great set. It has a lot of fun sentiments to it. I nearly didn't get it. In fact, I didn't get it. It came out in a mini catalog. I didn't get it for like ever because of this, where it says, I just want to hug you. You guys, Julie Salva's not a hugger. I am not a big hugger. I'm like, can I have a stamp set that says I just want to hug you? But in the end, I did it because it comes with a super fun punch and I think you guys are going to like it. The other thing that I thought about doing for this card is that how, how funny would it be to put there's no one like you on the front and then on the inside put yay. <laughs> That could be misconstrued, couldn't it? But that's, that's not what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do love you and miss you because I do have some friends that don't live here and I am pretty close to them and I do 
love them, and on occasion, I do miss them. So remember when I told you about photopolymer stamps, when you're putting this down, just kind of let it fall. If you maneuver it, you're gonna get a curve, you're not gonna like it, I'm just telling you, it's not gonna be what you want it to be, okay? So I've got that stamped, or on my block, I've got my Garden Green ink. I am going to take a scrap, you guys have scraps? I'm telling you, this is the scrap project. I'm gonna take a scrap and I'm just gonna cut a half inch. This is why I love the Stampin' Up! trimmer because it's so easy to cut a half inch strip. So that's what I've got, okay? Half inch strip, because I, I, I don't need a big strip for this. I am now going to stamp, and I'm looking for my foam pad. Where might I have put that? It was, it was just, here it is, on the floor, here. With photopolymer stamps, I like to use the foam pad. Oh, good, Elaine. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I think they, they stamp better. So I love you and miss you. I'm going to put that right on here. Pressing down with my finger. Oh, that's really good, too. Look at that. And then the punch that coordinates with this. It used to be a bundle. It's not anymore, so now you have to buy them separately. But the Happy Labels Punch, you could actually do three different sizes here. You've got your half inch, three quarters inch, and an inch for a label. I'm just going to slide in this half inch here, and I'm going to punch that ticket punch. You know, I don't like the ticket punch. I'm going to the other side. I mean, I like it, but not as much. Okay, so I've got that little scalloped edge there. I'm going to trim this down. You want to Give yourself about a quarter or about a half an inch from the end of your sentiment there so that it lines up. Slide it all the way to the back and look. See how it's got that fun little cute scalloped thing right there? So that's gonna go right down here. And I think I'll use dimensionals. Sorry about that, guys. Getting everything all cattywonk for you. All right, I think I'll use dimensionals on that as well. So, one, two, three. This is also a great piece to use the edge of your dimensionals because then you can um, just have a straight strip. So, you guys, I'm gonna tell you something. That's cute. Love you and miss you. I'm gonna put a couple more iridescent gems on it because why not? Put one over here. And then you can see I'm using all three of the sizes here. Put one right there, okay? So there we go, there's my card. So love you and miss you. I can send that to somebody. I've got the card that was the inspiration, the card that Carol Beth did, and I've shared that with you guys already. And then this is one that I made earlier today using a separate piece of the Delightfully Eclectic, just so you could see a variety here. Um, this is Cameo or Calypso Coral, and this one says, Life is Better with You. And I love that font. It looks like I kind of wrote it. So again, both the cards, super cute, just just different colors, different looks. So I hope that you guys will make one of these cards. We can call this the Did You Believe Julie Learned How to Quilt card. I think that is probably a pretty acceptable name for it. Um, so that is project number three. I know you're like, Julie, wait, you've only done two. Well, I'm counting, or this one. I'm counting the ones from yesterday. So remember, if you place, and some people already have, if you place a $35 order by Sunday, Alyssa, the small squares are one and a quarter, one and a quarter by one and a quarter. If you place a $35 order by Monday, I will send you the pre-cut pieces of cardstock to make all six of the projects that I am showing, two from yesterday, two from today, two from tomorrow. Okay, I'll cover the shipping. I'll do all that. So you won't, I can't stamp. Okay, that's that's against the Stampin' Up! policy. But I can send you the pre-cut card stock. If you place a $50 order, you will get the kit, the card kit, and a set of paper snips. Why? Because I need a new pair. And if I need a new pair, you do too. So there we go. All right, let's move on to our next project. This one is our fun fold. 
okay? Now, this is a fun fold that has been around for a while, I, I, but I forgot it. Are you guys like that? You ever forget things that you used to know how to do? The benefit of doing videos is that I can watch myself to so that I can teach myself again how to do it. But this is a card that my friend Becky did for a swap. And I remembered how much I liked this fold. So I wanted to share it with you. I've made a couple adaptations to it, but it's so cute. Do you guys remember this? Did y'all ever learn how to make this fun fold? So you open this up like that. And I, I, I wanna make sure, I don't think you can quite see. Okay, let me see. There we go. Okay, so you got that, you open it like that, and then you fold it down like so and you have your message here so it's graduation time right i think this is perfect for a graduation card you could put a gift card in here you could do this in the school colors if you wanted to i am actually leaving monday mark and i we are doing i call it the the great graduation tour we've got our niece graduating in florida on wednesday and our nephew graduating in Dallas, Texas on Friday. So we're flying from Nashville to Orlando to Dallas back to Nashville. But I'm super excited to see my family. So let's make this card. Let me show you how to do it. So you may or may not have noticed already. I'm going to guess you probably have the party suite. This is the very first stamp set in the catalog. I think it's on page 13. Um, Listen to that. See, I did know that page number. Um, that, however, is not the page that it's on, but page 15. So you can see it's called the Bright and Beautiful Suite. This is the stamp set here. And down here, you can see that there's a bundle with coordinating dies. You've got your paper and you've got some acetate with color on it. So I'm just going to, we're going to start with this. Um, I will probably use this set a little bit more in the near future because my Stamp and Shine Club for June is going to feature this set. I'm super excited about that. I'll tell you guys how the Stamp and Shine Club works later on. Hi, Peggy. I'm, I'm working on it to make sure that this stays in the visual for you so you guys can see it. Okay, so let's make the card. So let me get my box of supplies here. I put it over here. I'll move the sample out of the way. I'll move the one that I did out of the way. I've got everything in the box, and so I need to kind of move it. The good news is I'm getting a new desk. I'm excited about that because the little desk that I have right now to stamp on, it is not getting the job done. So I'm getting a corner desk, and um, I think that, that you guys will enjoy seeing that a little bit more. Okay, so I have cut my lemon lime cardstock already. It is four and a quarter by 11. Four and a quarter by 11. And then I'm going to score at two and a half inches, which I've already done right here, and seven inches. So the way that I score is I, um, I'll, I'll do a pretend score so that you guys can see, because I know sometimes people get a little bit confused. So I start with my paper here, and I go to two and a half inches, and then I slide it on down, and I would open up my arm to whatever my next one is. So in this case, it would be seven inches, all right? so. Kind of start from the left and just slide it on down. So two and a half by seven. I can go on and fold. I'm gonna move that until I stamp. Because I want that good fold. Get my bone folder. Guys, I'm here to tell you, you will not get a good fold without a bone folder. You can score and all the things, but a bone folder is what's gonna make the difference for you. Okay, so let's talk about how this fold works. So I am taking the two inch punch. Now, now let's talk about this. The two inch punch that Stampin' Up! released, it's an online only exclusive. You won't find it in the catalog, but you will find it in the online shop. Here's the thing though, it's sold out. I'm gonna guess that for those of you who are crafters, you have a punch like this, but if you don't, and you can use any size, it doesn't have to be two inches. If you don't, you can use the stylish shape dies and they will do the same thing. They're gonna get the job done for you. So um, I'm just using the punch because it's easier. Now, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of line that score line up in the center here, okay? That's why I like to punch upside down because I can eyeball it and see, there we go, if, let me move it up a little bit for you here. There we go, if it's in the center. So, I've got that, i pop that right on out. Now I'm gonna use this guy, okay? He's not going anywhere. So, but you can kind of see now already that one punch, 
what we've done, right? It's cute, right? You can get the feel for it. And I'm going to decorate it and do all the things, but it this isn't exactly the end product, okay? So let me go on and do a little bit of the decorating here just so we can get that out of the way. I've done some work ahead of time. I have cut my DSP down to four inches by one inch. And again, you can use whatever side you want. That lemon lolly is super cute, but I'm gonna stick with what I originally had, which is the, the circles, okay? And that is gonna go right here. Again, I have a little bit of a margin. I, that's too much of a margin, I don't like that. <gasps> I can use my thing. I'm going to go to the spatula. Spatula. Okay. Ah. Oh, you guys. I, I'm telling you what. I, I, I'm going to make mistakes on purpose, I think. I am going to make mistakes on purpose so I can use that spatula. No? No, I don't know. Okay, so I've got that. I have a little bit here. I've cut um, a half an inch by four as well of the Azure Afternoon. And this color... I like it. I, I thought at first I was like, well, it's kind of turquoisey, but it's it's not. I can't really describe it to you, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color. So we're gonna put that right there. I have cut down um, a piece of lemon lime twist cardstock. It is four by three and three quarters, which is the same um, as a piece that's gonna go on the inside. So four by three and three quarters. And this, put my adhesive on. It's just going to go right on the front. I use the music folder. If you're like, I would like a folder that's kind of generic, but a little different than just a pattern. I love this music folder because, A, this is a congratulations card. So, I mean, I could be singing Pomp and Circumstance, which I won't, or, or anything. But I love it at Christmas, too, you know, for Christmas carols. I wonder what the tune actually is. That would be fun to know. Okay. So, anyway, so I've got that. So, kind of right here for thus far, okay? All right, let's 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 set it aside and let's go back to this little piece because he has a role to play. So I am going to take a circle that I have already cut out using the stylus shapes and that circle is gonna go right there. Now you can see the crease there and that may bother you. If it does, what I would encourage you to do is to take a piece of the Bright and Beautiful DSP, because you'll have scraps of them, okay? You can just take a scrap if you want to, and I'll show you what you could do. All right, this one, I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna give you a little trick. This, is, this doesn't cost anything, this is a free trick. I'm taking a little piece of scrap, a little bit of adhesive on it and look what I'm, doing. I'm gonna put it right there now watch this this is too small in and of itself to get in that punch have you ever had that situation where you go and you you want to punch something but the paper just slides around because it's a little too small for you to work with you put that little lever on it with a scrap of paper and now you're in charge of that paper we'll show that paper we'll show that paper won't we who's running the show it is you so that's one of those tricks that, that I've learned that I really, really like. So hopefully that's something that maybe you knew or didn't know. So for, for those of you who are like, that crease bothers me, when you punch out a circle in the with the exact same punch, you could use that. In fact, let me just see what it looks like. Hmm. Maybe that one's better. It is a little better. I'll, I'll do it. You can use that circle to cover up that cardstock piece. The, the card will still work, the fold will still work, but it'll cover up that crease for you, okay? So, put that there. I didn't get a super straight punch, but you get the idea. All right, so I've got that. This is gonna go right here. This is the piece that I've already punched out or, or, or die cut out using the circle shapes or the stylus shapes. The stamp that I'm going to use, and I do love this stamp set. Now, I tell you this, and I'll show you the stamp set. If you haven't seen it, Beautiful Balloons, you, I'm sure you've seen it. It was a pre-order opportunity for demonstrators, and so um, you've probably seen it. So, 
I'm going to use Yay You. Now, this could be for a birthday party. It could be for any number of things. Actually, I'm going to do You Did It. Okay, so I'm going to use You Did It. I'm going to use a little bit of confetti. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second because the You Did It just looks a little bit plain by itself. I'm going to stamp it in the Azure Afternoon. Excuse me if it goes out of camera range. I just want to plop it on my um, foam pad. Okay. You did it. And now I'll put some confetti on it. And I'm going to use Lemon Lime Twist for that. Okay. Terry, good. I'm glad that you're, I'm looking at the things. I'm glad that you're going to use the, um, try that technique. If you do, post it on my page, guys, or in the group. I would love to see it, and I think other people would too. So I'm just putting a little bit of confetti around here to fill in some of that white space. I'm just not a big fan sometimes of white space. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story. The very first um, Stampin' Up, I guess, award I earned you got to go on a trip and it was called Founder Circle. And it was, you know, kind of an exclusive trip. Like you had to be a top demonstrator to earn it. And I earned it. And so we went and, and the place that this uh, trip was at was a resort in Utah that I am sure, I mean, I am sure people spent a lot of money to go there. But I will tell you this, it was like a health spa thing, okay? So ooh, I'm gonna turn this a little bit. So. Like the food we were eating was, I mean, it was like health, healthy food. And at this point in my life, I'm like, yay. But at that point in my life, I mean, I was in my 30s. I was like, no, I don't want that. I, I ugh. But I was grateful to be there. I didn't know. You guys, I, I need to tell you right now, I do not like this. Okay. I don't like it. I mean, I, li I, like, I like this part, but I don't like that. I don't like it at all. So I'm getting rid of it because I'm, I'm not a fan. And you know what I'm going to do? just to smooth things out here. There we go. I'm just going to punch the Azure Afternoon Circle. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put that right there. I'm already happier. Already happier. Anyway, so I'm at this health spa. Hey, Wanda. And um, I was hungry. I mean, like, I tried to eat the food that I couldn't pronounce. I did. But it was not um, yummy. So... I'm there and I'm like, okay, I, I need some food. So I called Domino's Pizza and like there was a gate to this spa and it's not like we were locked in or anything, but still it would have been awkward. I'm like, okay, so this is where I am. And the guy interrupted me. He's like, I know exactly where you are. We've been there plenty of times. So I didn't feel that bad about ordering my pizza because evidently other people did as well. So there you go, that's my story. Um, the reason though that I told you that story when I was talking about filling in the white space is because one of the things that a friend of mine said when they brought the food out, they were on white plates. She's like, there's entirely too much white space on this plate. So that made me think of that. Okay, so I put a little bit of tear and tape down because I'm gonna use that to hold this circle here. The reason for that is as you're lifting up this top flap, your circle's gonna get a little bit of, of wear and tear, okay? So you want it to be in there sturdy. Look at that, see, isn't that fun? So we've got that right there. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. The last couple things that I'm gonna do, and then we're gonna be done, and I know you're probably like, thank goodness, Julie. I've punched out, or not punched out, I've used die cuts for these stars. These die cuts are included with the dies that coordinate with this stamp set. And I'm gonna show you these dies in just a minute because there is one that is gonna blow your mind. And if you have already bought these, you probably know which one I'm talking about. And if you haven't bought them, this will probably make you buy them because no lie, I um, was not gonna get this set. One gonna, I mean, it was cute, but I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't need it. And then I saw this and I was like, I totally need that. So I've got my stars here. I've got my, um, I've shown you how to do the fold here. Okay, this opens up, folds down. And I'm gonna show you on my finished project here what you will put right here, just so you can see it. So this is the one that I did earlier. I've done it 
almost exactly the same. I've got the stars here. I did put some of the pastel sequin gems here. They match, even though you didn't think they would. And when you open this up, I think it's time for a celebration. And you've got your balloon there, and that's where you can put your gift card. So that's a cute project, right? This is the one that my friend Becky made that, and I told you I adapted it a little bit. She used balloons on hers, which I think is super cute. I think it's great for a birthday too. So hers is yay you. She used a smaller circle here as well. And, but it's the same thing pretty much on the inside. So I encourage you to make one of these cards. It's a fun fold. And I think that you'll find it's a pretty easy fun fold. Now back to these dies that I told you about that coordinate with this. I wanna show them to you because there's something super neat with them. So you've got, you can see I've used my stars. I'm not a great putter upper of the dies. I have some magnet sheets. I need to get these on magnet sheets. So you've got the stars, you have the balloons, you have a tag, which is great. You've got, to me that looks like a fish, but it's the, the balloon tails. Okay, this one is as well. Um, some confetti. Um, so, I mean, you've got a number of things, but this joker right here, it looks like a ruler. And I was like, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, that's been Fiona again. I'm not exactly sure what this does. Well, let me show you what this does. It makes fringe, you guys, guys, look at this. It makes fringe, it just die cuts fringe. Remember when we had those fringe scissors back in the day, if you were around Stampin' Up! had these fringe scissors and they were so fun to work with. Well, that die cuts fringe. When I saw that die, I said, I'm buying that die set. I'm buying it because it's so cute. Look how cute um, a fringe, let's just pretend right here, okay? Put this back up here. In fact, I may do it. But look how, well, that's too big. Look how cute fringe looks at the edge of a card. I mean, it's just fun, right? So I would encourage you to really think about this if you haven't gotten it yet. So let me, I do, Gayla, I do think it's fish. I do. Yeah. Okay. Let me pull the camera back up and talk to you. Hello again. I'm back. Um, so couple things just to, to reiterate. If you came in late, you can go back and you can see the cards that we did. Um, this was the first one using a quilting method that I now consider myself a quilter, um, inspired by Carol Beth Rhodes, a card that she sent. Yeah, I know, Gayla. I read it. That's why you bought the set. Me too. So this is a super fun one to make. I would love for you to make it and share it in the group. This is the second card that I did. A fun fold um, for graduation. Opening it up, putting it that way, using a great um, set that you could use for a gift card or whatever. Um, so these are the two projects that we did today. You will get all the paper free, like I said, if you place a $35 order to make these projects. A $50 order, you get snips. A couple other things I want to tell you about. You know that I am the co-founder of a group, thank you, Gayla, called Creating for Christ. I do it with my friend Rhonda Wade. And we have a project out this month and you will love it. So if you're a member of Creating for Christ, the Facebook group, go on over there and check it out. If you're not a member of it, um, shoot me a message and I can get you added in. This group is, I think, 7,700 strong. I mean, it's awesome. Every month we have a free tutorial that we post. So you're going to want to take a look at that. Also, if you're local to the Nashville area, you may want to come to my June retreat that I'm having. June 10th It's called the Stampin' Sisters Retreat. It is a half day retreat and we are going to make eight amazing projects. They're optional afternoon classes. So I would love to have you come. Um, I include the link to find out information about that in the email that will go out later today. So make sure you're on my email list. And then finally, my Stamp and Shine Club. This is my card club that I offer every month. It includes four cards, two designs, all the pre-cut supplies sent to your home, plus 20 to $25 worth of Stampin' Up! product that you can use and you will have so much left over. This month's club, let me see if I have it here. The one that we, I don't. The club that we just finished, I really thought I did, but I don't. Club we just finished, it was the Daisy stamp set. So um, that one's gone out, but I will tell you that the upcoming month, the June Stamp and Shine Club is going to feature this beautiful balloon stamp set. And I just want to show you 
a couple other cards made with it. And these may or may not be included. They may, 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 may not. So this card, my friend Amy Story did, and it features, you can't really see it great, but it does feature the fringe on the side. I think that's super cute. And then this card I got in a swap, Erin McMahon. She's from Pennsylvania. I don't know her, but this is a great card. She stamped that one. So um, I'm excited about Card Club, the Stamp and Shine Club, and I will put that information as well if you want to find out about it. So anyway, um, that's what I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. Thank you for sticking around. And I will see you tomorrow for two more pretty awesome cards. One's a box. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Oh, finishes right here.